Jamie. What are you doing here? Oh, is this a bad time? Are you having a problem? No, no, I'm just fine. But you said that you would get back to me about that test. Oh, right. I I'm sorry. I've been very busy. Well, that's what I assumed. Come on over here. Oh, good. Now, you wanted to know if you could prove the paternity of the baby before it's born. Right. Jamie, I... I'm not going to go into all of my problems, but I just want to be able to prove to Michael that the baby's his. And you can't wait until it's born. Jamie, I want Michael to go through this pregnancy with me. The test you want is an HLA profile. To do the test, we'll need a blood sample from you and Michael. And the man that Michael thinks is the father. That's right. We'll also need one from the baby. Well, how do you get that? It's a very risky experimental procedure. Using a sonogram as a guide, we would need to extract blood from the umbilical cord. Who's at risk? Me or the baby? The risk of a spontaneous abortion is higher than, than say, for amniocentesis. I could lose the baby. I think you'd have a very hard time finding any doctor who would perform the procedure. Well, you're not going to have to worry about that. I'm not going to do it. Michael is just going to have to find out some other way. I am not going to take any chance of losing this baby. Cranky. May I help you? I don't think so. I can't think of a thing you could help me with. Now oh, I'm so relieved. Uh, Julian, this is my wife, Donna. Oh, why don't you come in? No, uh, thank you. Well, Donna, there must have been a reason you came. I have to get out of here. Hey, hey, huh? Donna, you're white as a sheet. Come on, take my hand. Michael, no. No, please. I want you to come in and sit down. Can I get you a glass of water? No, thank you, honey. I'm just fine. Are you sure? Yes, Michael, I'm sure. I'm, uh, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt your little, uh, love nest. Love nest? <laughs> no, I'm... Love nest. <laughs> I'm so happy, Michael. I can make you laugh. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just <laughs> love nest. <laughs> Donna, come on. Now, where are you going? None of your business. Donna, please wait a second. Right? Why? Why so you can laugh at me some more? Jillian, would you excuse us for a moment, please? No problem. Come and get me when you're through, Michael. That's perfect. You can go keep your bed all nice and toasty and warm. Donna, you are making a complete fool of yourself. Oh, you know I'm that? making a fool? I'm sorry. I just thought that, that maybe you were lonely, Michael. Why don't you listen to me? But you certainly don't waste any time, do you? We weren't doing anything. Why don't you tell that to your girlfriend? She's not my girlfriend, Donna. She's my vice president of business affairs. Oh, business affairs. Is that, is that what you call it these days? Yes, we were working late. Don't lie to me, Michael. I'm not lying to you, Donna. I know why you hire all these gorgeous women. I hire them because they're qualified. And what? Look, if you don't like it, then don't drop by my hotel room unexpectedly at 11.30 at night, all right? Is that a threat? Donna, come on now, divorce is final in two weeks. We are both free to see whomever we choose. Well, maybe I should take some kind of secretarial course or something. Your father and I have some things to discuss, Victoria. What things? Excuse me. Julian, uh, as long as you're here, you might as well meet the rest of the family. This is Victoria, my daughter. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I really should be leaving now. Uh, look, I'm sorry about uh, the way things worked out here. No, it's no problem, Michael. We can uh, finish up tomorrow. That would be great. Let's finish up uh, first thing in the morning. Perfect. Oh, I get the picture now. She works for your father. I know who Jillian is, Donna. It was a business meeting, Victoria. Dad, what is Donna doing here? As a matter of fact, I was about to ask your mother the same thing. 
I uh, came here to talk to you about... What? Christmas. Oh, how sweet. Did you come to ask us to help string cranberries and popcorn for your Christmas tree? Victoria. I, uh, I have a present for you. Mail it. I really would like to give it to you. Then I'll tell you what. Victoria will come by and get it. And at the same time, she can give you her present, all right? Well, I was hoping that uh, both of you could stop by on Christmas. Well, Donna, we're going to my mother's. All day? Yes, I thought you knew that. Well, yes, but I didn't think it would be all day. I was hoping that you could at least spend some time with me. Why would we? Because I love both of you so very much. Oh, oh come off it. Victoria, knock it off. Victoria, why can't we spend Christmas together? Because we're not together and it would be a lie. Not for me. Well, you're not the only one involved in this situation now, Donna. If you haven't forgotten... Victoria, that is enough. I just want another chance. Don't you think it's a little too late? The divorce is going through, Donna. We have to accept it. Well, I won't. Donna, you have to. I'm afraid Victoria's right. Yes. We're gonna have to begin adjusting to this. Well, you can just adjust to it because I won't. I hope you have a good Christmas. Donna. Oh, hi, you're still here. Donna, how did everything go? Um, don't ask. Did you see Michael? Yes. You know, I am determined to spend Christmas with him. Well, how are you gonna do that? I think I have a plan. Well, good. You can tell me all about it at the party. No, wait, wait, what party? The one I'm giving now. And you are invited. Uh, no, 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 Nicole, I, I really can't make it. Well, why not? Well, I just have too much to do. Your plan? Yes. I am. I'm going to be getting my own little Christmas party for Michael. He said he would come? Well, let's just say that I'm going to make him an offer that he can't refuse.